Hi, this is a mono implant advanced surgical kit. The kit comes with a packing like this and uh, when you open you will see this pack uh, there is a clear instruction written about the protocols for sterilization so you must avoid dry heat sterilization and also chemical sterilization the recommended sterilization is autoclaving and you can see a C certification for both drills as well as for the drivers so when you open this surgical kit so you will notice that there is a driver and ratchet uh, and also you'll notice a scale on the uh, surgical kit this will help you to measure the drilling length in case if you require and here you see there are three components important components there are lance drills and chappers and then you have drivers and these drills there are if you notice there are eight drills the first one is 2 mm and second one is 2.5 mm 3 mm and 3.5 mm and also you'll notice that we have eight drills comes with a kit this is because the cortical or implant logic very important that your drills should be sharper and many times you place many implants so there are chances that the drills will wear out faster so in order to have all the time the sharp drills because the sharp drills are very important in order to drill this very hard cortical without much fragmentation of a cortical bone so that will lead to a delay in healing so these fine drills are very important, fine and sharp drills. And if you notice that, there are long drills and the short drills. If you notice, there are two types of drills. One is a long and another one is short. These short drills are particularly useful in the posterior area, mandibular posterior region, when your patient is not able to open, and especially when you're doing a lingual cortical, and also in some areas where the mouth opening is restricted. The long one can be used in the anteriors, both upper and the lower anteriors and the tubero pterygoid areas, which are very common, uh, requires a longer implants. And most of the time, if you are using a 2.7 mm or a 3 mm, only single drill is sufficient using a 2 mm yellow color drill. Then we have sh uh, long and the short black color drills, which is 3 mm. So if you notice this, uh, these drills are uh, black color drills, again long and sharp, there are 2.5 mm, if you are planning to place 3.2 or 3.7 mm, depending on the bone consistency, only one drill is sufficient. And then we have 3 mm drills, again the short and the long drills, and also we have white color, short and long drills, which are 3.5 mm. So at all the time, you will have eight drills in the kit which is very very useful in case one wears out the other one can also be used the next most important one is a tapping drills they are particularly useful after you drill you must expand the bone or compress the bone with this tapping drills because this will prepare the bone bed for your insertion of the implant and this is particularly useful for rough surface implants. So all the rough surface implants, we have to drill them first with a lance drill and again use the chap drill in order to prepare the bone bed and then place the implant. And here again, we have about 10 chap drills, 3, 3.2, 3.7, 4.1 and 4.9. So if you're using a 4.9, rough surface implant i suggest you to use a 4.1 and they're also useful sometimes if you miss a second cortical engagement with your implant please remove the implant if it is not engaged take the trap drills and try to insert it and feel the second cortical locking and then place the smooth surface implant it's also very useful so coming to a ratchet drivers 
This kit contains a very small ratchet drivers where we, you can see there are two types of ratchet drivers. One for a small it and one for the large it because we have two types of uh, apartment heads, one for a short and one for a, uh, one for a uh, smaller head and one for a larger head. Uh, look at the size of these drivers. They are particularly useful in the posterior most areas when there is a uh, mouth opening is difficult or when you are not able to uh, place the, when you are not able to drive the implant with the ratchet. And also we have the most commonly used ones. This is next size and then we have a longer one. Sometimes lip comes in the way when you are inserting the implant with the driver and the ratchet. So in order to avoid the lip getting uh, injured, we can use a long drivers to insert the implant. And again you will notice there are two drivers. This is a handpiece drivers. So these handpiece drivers are useful. You can place the implant, you can place this one into the handpiece and take the implant and you can use them. And this is also compatible with using with this hand driver what we have. But I suggest you do not drive the implant to the full length with this one because the high top will lock this two and this will never open up. This is very important when you're using this surgical. Do not use probably two or three threads. You can take the implant with this and just place it and please remove this. You cannot do it. And this driver is particularly useful if you want to tap some time to grow the area, you can make it as a tapper. So this is also useful to use this. And you will also notice there is a small hole here. This small hole is also present everywhere. So sometime when the fri friction grip, the implant is firmly you know, stuck with this driver, you can use this hole probe or something, uh, probe or explorer and then just push it like this, this driver will separate, this is a one way, <coughs> or this driver can also be separated by just simply tapping this driver from the implant abutment, this will come out. This is another way of removing this drivers. So, and you will notice that there are two of them are left empty. These are particularly later when we have a two piece implants, this will be, the drivers will be given along with the kit. So, in addition to that, our kit contains a two additional drivers. They're called hand drivers. They come with a large head against small head. These drivers is used for placing the implant directly with a hand. You can take an implant and then you can place them directly into this, uh, into the jaw, bone breath preparation. So totally, these usually not a part of the surgical kit but uh, they come additionally for this so totally you'll have three hand drivers and one ratchet and these are the components so this advanced kit is useful not only for the beginner in the uh, cortico implant velocity, but even an expert sometimes they require these tools so this is the complete mono implant surgical advanced surgical kit